Hello guys and welcome to TechPress. In today's tutorial, we're going to be focusing on a key aspect of setting up your Shopify store, creating multiple product pages. If you're new to Shopify and wanted to showcase a variety of products effectively, this guide is perfect for you. Let's jump into the world of Shopify for beginners in 2023. So, introduction to the Shopify product. Shopify product pages are the section where you can customers get detailed information about what you're actually selling. It's essential that these pages are clear, informative, and attractive, guys. So today we're going to be covering how to create these pages from scratch and ensure that they actually stand out. All right, so adding your first product uh, needed to be done with accessing your Shopify dashboard. So first of all, you want to log in into your Shopify store. This is the dashboard where you come and censor for all the store related activities. So if you're new to Shopify, you can take a moment to familiarize yourself with the different sections that appears into the left part. You have the right part of your account. You have here the dashboard and you can see everything about things to do next, uh, set up a guide and whatever. So later on, the adding your first product. To create a product page, you wanted to go directly into the product section. Here you want to import or enter manually your own information about your title, the description, the media, the pricing, status, and all of the information actually to check it out your new products. If you have multiple product guys, later on what you can do is to add variants. You want to add custom information here. This product has an SKU or a barcode. There is another option here that can help you to organize products into different collection. You want it to be as descriptive as possible and use high quality images. This is your chance guys to convince customers to buy a specific product. So once again, you can uh, create collection based on product type, season sales and much more of that. And if you go directly into your collections, you can see that I have three different collections that can help me to organize all my products that I'm actually selling. I'm selling slippers, I'm selling home decor, and I have products for my actual home page. Now, let's customize the product page layout. If I go directly into my sales channel, you can see that we have the theme section. I'm going to hit into customize. So Shopify uh, also allows you to customize the layout of an actual product pages. You can edit template to change how your product information is displayed. While customization options vary based on your theme, common changes include rearranging text and images blocks or adding unique features like size guiding, for example. Click in it, and as you can see, maybe I can do it a little bit much more smaller. So check out how it's going to be looking, the actual info here, the product information, all of that. So I can change this for a small, media feed original, thumbnail, carousel, stack the two columns. You can change the scheme you wanted to, enable sticky content description, for example. So all of this information should be really helpful for people who check out for the very first time your products. Now the CEO and the product pages. CEO is a crucial guys for product pages. Use clear descriptive titles and keywords. So it's gonna be helping you to improve the search engine rankings. So also remember guys to add all text to your images for better CEO. How you can import that, you can go directly once again into products. I'm gonna click into one of them and I can scroll all my way down and I wanted to find the search engine listed. And I have a course on meta fields. If I check out the meta fields, I have the Google custom product. So we go for true meta fields without definition. I wanted to save this and check out here. Here's my global uh, title tag. And here's my uh, global description tag. So I'm going to go back. And what I wanted to do is to choose just one product. Let's go and scroll all the way down and go for a search in lean listing and hit into edit, which appears in here. So the page title should not be longer than 70 uh, characters users. Try to be as much as graphic as you can, but you don't want to use a really, really large title, trust me. So here are Christmas color for snowflake twister, sun catcher, ice pillar pendant window. So for example, sun catcher, ice pillar, it's not relevant, so I just delete it. Crystal pendant for window, right? It, it, it's much, so much better. So crystal for window. We we'll just leave it like that for crystal. And I have the meta description in here. So I wanted to delete 
can check out for any errors here. Uh, ensure that everything looks great, it looks perfectly. Once you're satisfied with what you're seeing in here, they can click into save or publish to make your product pages live. So I think that I wanted to change my title here of the description because it's in the right part so I can change that later. But uh, so far actually it looks great. So after that, I'm gonna hit now into publish here and this is how it's gonna be looking my new product already been added uh, there. So as you can see, it looks great. This is how you can create multiple product pages into Shopify. If you wanted to create one of more products into your store section, you can go into import and add a CSV file so you can add more than just one product in just one action. So guys, that's how you create a multiple product page into Shopify. With well-crafted product pages, you're on your way to attract customers and boosting sales. So if this tutorial, guys, was helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to Tech Express for more Shopify guides. If you got any questions or tips for creating product pages, you can drop them into the comments below. Thank you once again for watching and happy selling. Stay tuned for more beginner-friendly guides to mastering Shopify.